What's up guys? It's been forever. I've been slacking on all of my YouTube stuff and I've really been missing it, honestly. I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of all the things that I've been working on uh, in the shop, some things that I've got coming up, and some of the plans for 2020. Um, yeah, so we'll talk about the plans for 2020 in just a minute. I wanted to show you guys just a little bit of what is going on at my shop right now. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna flip you guys around one second. All right, so got the Lexus, obviously. Um, one of the tires sprang a leak and it's on some drift spares. Uh, we do have this really wicked, awesome shift knob that was made by Grip Royal. Uh, I do have another really cool thing to show you guys also from Grip Royal. I guess you guys can probably guess it is a steering wheel. Um, so over here, this is my friend Jeb's 93, 92 something MR2 Turbo. Uh, it is an original turbo car, as you can see here. It's got the updated tail lights, which are so much better than the originals. So what's happened here is an exhaust manifold stud has pulled out of the cylinder head, um, which you can see, this is one of the other studs here. Uh, so basically this is what the studs look like here. And yeah. It pulled all the threads out of the cylinder head on the corner one over here. Uh, we did find a couple more that were very iffy. Uh, it has a Gretti side mount, an Apex uh, like SAFC AVCR boost controller thing, uh, Apex inter uh, intake. Uh, the guy who had this thing, I think it's got head studs and stuff, but uh, yeah, so. You can see here some of the charge pipes. We had it all off. Uh, this one here was the one that was leaking, and it was leaking really bad. You guys can see here. Um, yeah, so he asked as a favor. He was going out of town. He said, hey, man, I want you to work on this thing. Uh, it's a really, really, really nice car. He actually just got this thing uh, paint corrected or whatever, I guess. But it, this is original paint. It's a really cool color. Um, it's really kind of uh, early 2000s as far as like the styling. Believe it or not, these are SSRs, kind of cool. Um, it's got the like, kind of like low, sleepy eye kind of look. Uh, headlights in it. Love, 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 love how cool the badges are on these cars. Uh, really cool looking car, yeah. So I'm working on that with dad. He helped me tonight. It really was a lot more work than I thought. Uh, the Sylvia, big surprise there, um, is still on my lift. Yep. But front suspension is together. The rear suspension is coming together. You can see uh, all the ISR uh, five lug stuff here. Uh, it does have all poly bushings there. Uh, energy suspensions kit. This side over here is together. Um, you can see that's a GK Tech arm. The, let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, there we go. The GK Tech Hikus Delete Bar. Um, and I did pull all the lines out as well. Over here is together. You can see the ISR coilovers you got. Um, these are power stop pads. I think they are ISR rotors as well for the rears. We did run into a little issue in the front. Let's uh, go around here via underneath. You can see uh, we chose to do an aluminum drive shaft. The transmission is back in. Uh, it's got a Clutch Masters like stage one pressure plate flywheel combo thing, but it's a full face, very stock looking. So, ran into an issue here because this is a Sylvia, not a 240. The front rotors are actually larger on a turbo Sylvia, so the Sylvia Ks. The Q might be the same, because um, it's still an SR, just no turbo, but the front brakes are larger than a standard 240 here in the States. So 
Uh, we got Brembo blanks. These are actually for uh, like a Maxima and they are the correct size and spacing and everything like that. Power stop pads again here. You got the ISR coilovers, the uh, sway bar there. I, I kind of have been doing a little bit of like a restoration type situation. So like I've cleaned all the arms and everything like that. So they, they're all cleaned up and nice. Uh, ISR Pro tension rods here for the, the caster adjustment and all that. Over here, same thing. Uh, again, ISR five lug conversion with the extended studs. We pressed into extended studs because we know we're gonna need a little bit of a spacer and we were a little bit worried about uh, some of the, you know, studs being short or whatever. So, over here, we're gonna walk over here real quick. Um, yeah, so right over here, we got his wheel choice, which is a Koenig Ampliform. I think it was the Ampliform, pretty sure. Uh, good looking wheel, they're very light. Um, so it's looking like on the 235 on the stock body, we're, we, we are going to have to use a spacer to get the wheel out a little bit. And when that happens, we're probably gonna have to roll the fenders. Not really thrilled about that. This car is in really good shape. But at the same time, it's old. So I don't know if I'm gonna roll the fenders. Uh, I can always borrow a fender roller and everything, but I want this car to be super nice. Um, some of the other things that we still have to do on this thing, uh, he got a water pump, a thermostat, and what else? Finish getting rid of all the Hika stuff. We did, like I said, I pulled all the lines and everything out. The, the, there's like two big solenoids it was a, a massive amount of junk underneath the car so that's all cleaned up um, there's a couple things I gotta modify the power steering pump because if you guys didn't know the Hikus is actually driven off of the power steering pump so I have to like take the veins out of the power steering pump in the secondary part of it and then weld a fitting so that basically just decommissions the back section of the pump yeah what else? Uh, oh, we found the oil pan is leaking, the lower pan. So I'm gonna just pop that off of there. You wanna do an oil change anyways. I'm gonna pop it off, reseal it with some right stuff, pop it back up there, then the sway bar can go in, and then that part of the show is done. I mean, this car is getting very close. Uh, I'm hoping to have Jeb's car wrapped up rather fast. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see. Let's see here, hold on a second. All right, so you guys can see behind me, I got some big like pallet racking. They're not pallet racks, but they're like heavy duty shelves. Um, I have got to clean this place up. It's kind of stressful because I'm really just down here enough time to like bang out some work and then roll to the house. It's just, you know, I, I work all day at Haltech um, and then I come down here, so that, that just makes for a really, really long day. I usually, I'm at Haltech from 9 to 6, I leave Haltech, I get here at 6.30, and then I usually work until 11, which it is almost 11 now. I am really ready to go home. Uh, but I did want to, like, check in with you guys and let you guys check out some stuff that I've been working on. Um, I really want to show you guys this Grip Royal wheel, and then we're going to go through, we're going to go through 2020 because things have changed and I'm gonna to try to do some soul searching. But first, cool stuff. All right, you guys can see I got a little care package. I got some sunglasses. Got my little hanger tag deal, a little mirror pendant. More sunglasses. This is a rotator because I've got a Momo type bolt pattern on my steering wheel currently because it's a Momo. Uh, so they sent me a like rotator thing so it like clocks it and gets the right bolt pattern little horn button which I did get a horn button delete from them I put it somewhere not positive where I put it but it's purple it's really cool because um, obviously race car and yeah but stickers always cool they got really cool stickers like very 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 rad okay so this is something that 
If you guys don't know about Rip Royal, they will do custom engraving and stuff. So, yeah. This is one of their, like, race-type wheels. And luckily I washed my hands because they were nasty. But check this guy out. Is that not the coolest thing ever, man? You got the suede, nice black. Got the Wild Running logo on there. Got the Haltech logo on there, the Grip Oil logo. I am so stoked on this. I mean, this wheel feels great. It's a beautiful, everything's made really, really nicely. Uh, the center's nice and anodized and everything like that. It's still even got like a brushed look to it. Um, like I said, Wild Running. So this, this thing was made for me. Um, I can't thank them enough. They are a great company. If you guys are looking for a steering wheel, go check them out. Like, they can do custom stuff, and, and not just race car stuff. They got a lot of, like, really cool, uh, like, colors and options. I mean, they're, it's almost limitless. And they do shift knobs. I mean, custom stuff, you know. Watch their Instagram and stuff, because they put up, like, these really cool shift knobs. And, uh... They make them. I'm going to put this guy away. But, yeah. Alright, so... Alright. So, what is the deal with 2020? Um, a lot of things have been stressing me out. Uh, I, I work a lot. Um, obviously, I got a wife, two kids, a house. Um, I want to spend time with them. I don't just want to work all the time and then be gone to go racing and gone for work and gone to you know work on other people's cars and, and everything like that because you know it turns into a time or money if you don't have the money you probably have the time if you have the money you probably don't have the time um to do all this stuff so i've been juggling that a lot i haven't not raced for a really long time like over 10 years Every year I've always raced something, be it, you know, having a fast street car um, that was raceable to really, you know, scratch that itch. Um, yeah. So, this year, I'm not going to race, uh, like, much at all. The, the, actually, really, the only race that I am going to go to, um, the guys at Import Alliance, I ran into them at PRI and they asked if I wanted to come drive. And obviously I said yes. Uh, the spring meet down in Atlanta is always a lot of fun. It's a really fun little track. And some of the, some of my buddies from, you know, all over are going to be coming down. Uh, Brad's going to come with me from work. So that's going to be great. Uh, we're we're going to like put the sauce tune in the car and um, really just hit it and just enjoy the weekend. We're gonna have a good time, um, but that's it. For, for 2020, that's all I'm racing. I'm, I'm gonna hang it up and I'm gonna try to, to do everything that I wanna do to the car before 2021 because I was hoping to do Pro-Am pro and 2020, it's not happening. I, I just, I can't mentally do it. I can't do it, um, but obviously you guys know that I'm a motorhead. I, I can't just not race, and my Lexus is really pretty much, my Lexus is really pretty much a race car. And, you know, it, it's, it is streetable. Obviously, we drove it to Atlanta and drove it back, and, and me and Mike, we had a great time, uh, but it's a race car, and it was kind of awful. Um, the other thing is that it takes like an hour to come to the shop and get the car out, and like as far as round trip, so 15 minutes to the shop, 15 minutes to get the car out, and then reverse when you put the car back up and get back to the house, so that's an hour out of the time that just it's done you know so we got some other plans uh there's some really cool stuff in the works um yeah all i'm gonna say is that i have been gathering parts for a street car um and when i say gathering parts just we're talking about little stuff but it will be a four-door it will be a toyota and it will be a turbo car so, 
Um, I will probably, there's going to be, a, let's put it this way, I'm going to do a full series, which this will be my first go at doing any kind of series or anything like that. So yeah, you guys are going to get a bunch of how-tos, but it's going to be from my house. Uh, probably with one of my kids, uh, doubtfully both, Joey's, you know, eight months, but Aiden is definitely old enough to be wrenching, so I want to have something at the house. That's a big thing for me, you know, pull it out of the garage, go for a drive and something fun. Right. That's it. I'm going to give you guys that. Uh, the one part that's right in front of me is a vintage Nardi wheel. Uh, Brian Lim, who is my wheel guy, uh, not steering wheel, but um, he's like where I got my BSKFs, where I got my weds, all of that. Um, he gave me a present because I helped him out on some wheels, fixing some. So, check it. All right, so this is a classic Nardi wheel. It is older than I am. It was like the stamp on the back is 1981. But yeah, so it's a, a standard Nardi. Um, I, I got a buddy, uh, Ed Graves down in Florida who does all of our upholstery work. And he said that he could uh, recover it. So it, it's obviously, it's, it's, it's kind of beat up. It, it, and like I said, Brian, hook me up with this thing. This will be for the streetcar. And yeah. That's yeah. So there's a little little snippet. That's all you get. I'll give you guys more really soon, but yeah. All right guys, so that's the update. Um obviously I will for sure film everything uh, when it comes to going to IA and a bunch of the ride along stuff. Let's see who all is going to be there. Kelsey Rowlings is driving. Um, Kevin Lawrence from Njuku is definitely going to be there with their R32. Uh, those are both Haltech cars. So hopefully we'll get some tandems in with them. They're really great people. I, I'm really looking forward to having that weekend. Uh, Mikey with the Starions going and a couple of like the really cool like older Toyotas. There's like a Celica and I think another maybe another Starion um, and then maybe an old Supra but we're all cruising down. We're all going to stay in this Airbnb together. Uh, so that's going to be really great. Yeah. It, I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, 2020 is going to be a lot of me trying to take care of my mental health. I, I haven't been doing that. I've just been going and going and going and going. So I got to stop that. We're going to actually take a really nice vacation this year, um, down to Florida, go to Destin. That's like our really, that's, that's our, that's our place. So family vacation, um, like I said, there is another car coming and there's going to be an absolute ton of content from this car. Um, yeah, we're going to take you through the entire buying process uh, so that you guys can enjoy it. It's, it's, you guys are going to get a really big kick out of it. It is totally me. It's me. Toyota, turbo, four-door, family car. Cars and coffee, all of it. Yeah, so... On that note, let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you guys want to see. Uh, please like this video, you know, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, there, like I said, there's a lot of content coming your way. And yeah, I'll see you guys at some point, hopefully soon. Yeah. See ya.